Okay, the title on this is a little bit deceiving because um, adjustment layers are all to do with Adobe Premiere and I'm not doing anything in Adobe Premiere today but I know a lot of people are from Adobe Premiere and are familiar with Adobe Premiere and so adjustment layers seems like a logical thing to call it but what I'm talking about is globally changing a setting so if we take this example here I have a sequence in Resolve I've just got a couple of clips that I've put together and uh, I've got one here of um, my girlfriend who's no surprise is on her phone and um ah. <laughs> and here's one um of a train anyway so these are just a couple of clips all put together and they've all been graded in a similar way but uh, but but they've all got their kind of minor variations because of lighting changes and you know different you know, different things they're showing uh but what i've decided i want to do now is put a vignette and some film grain across all of them. That's actually really simple to do in Resolve. All you need to do is up at the top here, change from the default clip node setting to the timeline setting here. And the timeline setting will, by, by default, have nothing in it. So you just need to add a connector, add a serial node in there. And you can do that by doing Alt-S. And that just adds you know, one serial node. And if we do that again, because I'm going to need two for what I'm doing, uh, so now all your clips are together and these changes will be applied across all of your clips. So if I now scan through my clips here, you'll see that this is actually jumping across all clips. So it's jumped right across to this one here. It's basically going through all of them in one go because this is now looking at your in entire timeline. So if we just add in a power window, so you've probably seen me do this before, but if I just quickly add a some kind of vignette on here like this uh, invert it drop it down like this and let's just have a quick have a, have a quick look yep that looks okay and now I'm going to add in some film grain from film convert so I want to add on film convert and I need to take down the curve because I don't want any additional color correction done. And I'm going to take down the uh, film color as well and just apply the film grain and maybe just have some Super 35 film grain on there. And you can see that that is now applied to every single clip. So uh, if I disable it, you can see it there disabled. And there it is added on. And if I move over to this clip, it's equally on. You can see it on the foot there. If I turn it off. And so we can go back to our standard clip and you now have those effects applied to every single one of these clips. So across the entire timeline, it's easy as that really. So just come up to here, switch to the timeline mode and apply your global adjustment layer effects to there. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope, hope this was useful and I will catch you soon.